boys and girls. Now that you have listened to the story Alice the Fairy, you are going to get to make your own Alice the Fairy. To do this project, you will need crayons, glue stick, and scissors. So if you need to get those things, you can pause the video and go get those things now. When we're ready, you'll also need these papers that are provided by your teacher. And our first step is going to be to cut out all of these pieces. Make sure that you cut carefully along the black lines. Remember when we cut, our scissors are always pointed out from your body and we open and close those scissors. We always turn the paper instead of turning our scissors. Okay? So our scissors are always pointed out from our body and we maneuver the paper, turn the paper with our other hand. Okay? So right now I'm going to ask you to pause the video and cut out, make sure you cut out all of the pieces. There is a crown and a star. Here is Alice's dress. Here are her wings. When you cut out the wings, make sure you go just around the outside, follow this outside line. We're not going to cut up the middle. We're not going to cut out these other lines, but you're going to cut just around the outside of that paper. And then you see Alice's face, her two arms, and her two legs. So go ahead and pause the video, cut those things out, and when you are ready, you can hit play again on the video, and I'll show you how to put your Alice the Fairy together. Okay, I'm going to pull out my pieces that I have cut out. And we will get started. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to glue our one arm and two legs onto our wings. Okay. So if you need to pause to get those things, do that. Remember, you can pause the video anytime you need to. If I'm going too quickly, you can simply pause the video, get caught up, and then hit play again. So what I want you to do is you're going to find the pieces that fit onto your wings. See how I have one arm, thumb up, and two legs. Okay, And we're going to pick those pieces up and I'm going to put glue right on her wings. I'm going to fill it in and then I can stick that hand down right on the wing. Just like that. I'm going to push it down so it stays. Okay. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom and in that rectangle I'm going to fill that rectangle in with glue and I'm going to put my first leg. Notice that the toes are pointed to the left. Okay. And I'm going to go to the next leg and I'll fill in that rectangle. Okay. And again, the toes are pointed to the left. Both feet are pointed in the same direction. Great job. Okay. Now that we have the arm and the two legs glued down, we can find Alice's pink dress. So if you would find Alice's pink dress, you can kind of lay it down and see how it's going to fit on her wings. Uh, we want wings to stick out on both sides of her pink dress. So let's see, maybe like, just like that. Okay. So I'm going to turn over her pink dress and I'm going to put glue on the back of her pink dress. Okay. But there's a little bit that sticks up over here. I'm not going to put any glue there. And there's a little bit down here at the bottom that sticks out. So I'm not going to put any glue there. That way I don't glue my dress down to the table. So I'm going to turn it over. And I like to outline where I'm going to glue. So again, notice I left a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. And then I can put a big X on my paper and that should be enough glue to hold my dress. Right, I'm going to stick down Alice's dress. Again, I'm going to rub it, rub it, rub it to get it nice and stuck on my paper. Okay. Now, if you need to push, push pause and get caught up, go ahead and do that. We're going to move on to Alice's face. 
So you need to pull out Alice's face. And then you need to find the scraps of paper that you have left from cutting your yellow stars out because you're going to use those scraps of paper to create hair for our Alice. I've already done that. I've cut mine into strips of different sizes so that I can glue her hair down. So go ahead, you can, let me show you how I'm going to do that. You can pause the video and take a few minutes to cut out her yellow strips of hair so that we can glue them down. I'm going to give her some short bangs and a couple long pieces of hair, just like that. So take your scraps of paper that you have from cutting out these pieces and you can create your um, hair for Alice however you want. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that now. Okay, I'm going to put glue right along the top of Alice's head. And I'm going to go ahead and glue down some bangs, some short hair in the front. And then I've got some long hair on the side. And it's okay if it sticks up a little bit. We're going to put our crown on next. I'm going to put a little bit more glue there. Just like that. Now with her hair on, she's all ready for her crown, her fairy crown. So you can grab her crown that you've cut out and you can glue it down here to the top of her head, just like that. All right, when you've got her hair and her crown, I hope you notice that her eyes are missing. So this is where you can take out your crowns and you can find the black crown or maybe you want her to have blue eyes. You can draw some eyes on our on your fairy, Alice the fairy. So I'm going to put a couple eyes on my fairy. Now she looks better. All right. With her face all done, we can glue it down on her body. So I'm going to lay it out so I know what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to kind of maybe tilt it a little bit so it looks like she's flying in the air. Okay. So I'm going to turn it over and notice just this bottom part of her face is going to be touching the paper or the dress. So I just need to put a little bit of glue. So I turn it over right here at the bottom and I put some glue. Just like that. And I can turn it over and I can press it down. Again, I'm going to press and hold a few seconds here to make sure that glue sticks. Now we're almost done. We have just a few more things to glue on. We're going to start with her wand, make her wand next. You should have a black strip of paper and you should have cut out a star. So we're going to glue the star onto her black wand, just like so. Again, I'm going to press and hold. And now I can take my wand and I'm going to glue it right here in her hand. See how her thumb's kind of sticking up here? You can kind of put it over so that's kind of at an angle. So if you notice again, the black part is going to be touching paper, so we can put glue all in the black part. I would not put any glue on your star or else you'll glue your fairy to the table. So turn over the black, the black part. I'm not going to glue where the star is. I know that's kind of difficult to see, but let's try this. All right, I'm going to start right here at the bottom of the star and put glue to the end of my black stick. Okay. And then I can glue down my fairy wand. All right, and our very last step is the other hand that's holding our wand. So we're going to 
glue it down. Make sure your hand is holding on to the wand. And all of this arm is touching paper, so that means all of it can get glue. So I'm going to turn over my arm, and I'm going to put glue all over the back. And I'm going to glue it down again. I want that hand holding on to the wand. Ta-da! All right, and now you have a completed fairy. But before we're finished, we're going to make sure we turn it over because it's not the same without your name. And make sure you put your name on the back of your fairy. All right, that's it, boys and girls. Remember, you can listen to this video as many times as you need to. You can pause it when you need to. You can restart it anytime. Make sure you do your very best. Slow down and cut on those lines very carefully. Um, I look forward to seeing your finished fairies.